Hello, my name is Ryan Lewis. I will be your captain for today's flight. Today's flight will consist of a proposed journey as we head towards intervention. First, we need to examine our flight plan. We need to look at what we might expect as we begin to get airborne with our intervention process. And we are seeking input from you as we begin our travel excursion ideas. To start, we'll be flying two days a week. Our flight will last 30 minutes and we'll be flying between first and second block. And don't worry, for, all, for this flight, we need all crew and all passengers on board. As we begin to look at our flights, we have very special booking agents. Those will be our PLC strands. Our strands will decide the destination, the itinerary, and they'll decide where and when, all under a local control formula. Passengers that need special assistance will be invited by the PLC strands to attend their designated flight. Whether it's reteaching, homework help, makeup work, you are in control of who flies where. Our passengers who need special assistance will be put on a very special flight manifest. That manifest will be submitted to the FAA or your local administration who will then work on clearance. They'll determine who has the priority, who's on a no-fly list, and they will get your updated manifest back to those strands just as quickly as possible so we know who is where when we get airborne. For the other passengers on our flight, it's going to run more Southwest style. They have no priority boarding. It's going to be first come, first served based on the sessions, the open sessions that our local strands have created. When the students show up and that flight is full, they simply move on to the next plane that they'd like to attend. And if you're anything like me, when I'm on a flight, I hate overcrowded planes. People sneezing, coughing all over me. So don't worry. I've asked our administration to make sure that every flight we run with all of our crew members on board should be no more than give or take 30 per plane. However, we do have the opportunities that if our crew want to run it, we have some areas that can accommodate much larger plane sizes than 30. We'll give you more information on that at a later date. He can erase a whiteboard at record speed. The bell does not ring until he is ready for it to ring. He is hero's hero. He is the most interesting man in the world. I always do first best instruction, but when they don't get it, I use intervention. Oh. Stay professional, my friends. Intervention brought to you by Santiago's Intervention Committee, Corona, California, 92881. Wow, how interesting. Welcome back to our flight soaring over Santiago. Before we go any further with our flight plans, there are some several things on the manifest that we have to address. The first thing we have to determine is with our manifest, how do we get people ticketed? Don't worry, NTSB has a plan for that. We call it the Hero Scan. Since our students now have their IDs and Hero has been working so well, we're going to require that all passengers as they board their plane will walk in and slide their little ID card under the scanner and they will be scanned. That's how we're going to track who is where and when they got there. We'll also compare that back to the original manifest that we got from our local control groups to make sure the students are in the right place. So from the cockpit, what do you really need to know? that as your passengers walk into your flight that they've chosen to be there, they're going to scan their IDs. That's how we're going to know that they're in the right spot. If for some reason we have students who choose to take a vacation rather than get on board, don't worry. If they come up missing, we, the FAA or administrators, will find them for you and get them right back to you. Thanks for flying. As your pilot, before we begin to wrap up this short safety video, I need a few things from you. Number one, what would you like as our crew? How long should we run those intervention periods before we have to create new lists that you are locally controlling that you're requiring to attend? How long should it be until you have to submit that to the FAA? That's number one. Number two, if you have an open session, what would you like it to be? Give us some ideas. What would be a good open session for your students to benefit from? And number three, as you begin to generate ideas, if you have questions, concerns, feedback, 
We'd love to hear it. My attendants are going to collect that from you, and we'll get back with the answers at a later date. Remember, this is our maiden voyage. With that, we might hit a little turbulence. We're going to ask you to buckle up, take that air mask and throw it on there, and ride with us. Don't worry, when our flight lands before we take off again, you will have the chance to re-vote. If our flight didn't work, we'll find a new plane. But we're asking that you get on board and come take a ride. Thank you, have a great day, and fly safe.